Hi everyone, welcome to a look, first look at System Center Service Manager Beta 2. Today I'm excited to show you how Service Manager, through the power of its integrated platform, orchestrates people, process, and technology across the Microsoft environment. Service Manager automates and adapts IT service management best practices such as MOF, ITIL, and COBIT to your organization's requirements. It provides built-in processes based on these industry best practices for incident and problem management and change management. Service Manager automatically connects knowledge, information, processes, and activities from System Center Ops Manager, Configuration Manager, and Active Directory. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can lower the potential risk of configuration errors and quickly and efficiently resolve incidents. This demonstration shows how Service Manager delivers a solution for compliance management, from the detection of a non-compliance configuration scenario to full remediation. As you take a look at Service Manager, you can see it has a familiar System Center look and feel. In the workspace, I can do things such as administration, administering, setting up my user accounts, setting up notifications. In the library space, I can create knowledge articles, manage my lists and queues. It is here in the work item space that I spend the majority of my time as an IT analyst. Within here, within one integrated view, I manage my activities, my change requests, and my incidents. Today I'm going to take a look at my DCM instance. DCM, Desired Configuration Management, is a feature within Configuration Manager. And with the deep integration between Service Manager and Configuration Manager, Service Manager automatically generates an incident when drift from those DCM baselines occurs. So I'm going to take a look at a DCM incident here. And when I take a look at this, I can see that it's been pre-populated with a rich set of information. So again, Service Manager automatically generated this incident by detecting the DCM drift. And I can see by having the in incident pre-populated allows me to quickly move through the process. And for my organization, we gain confidence that the situations are handled each time and correctly. And throughout Service Manager, we've embedded those best practices from frameworks like MOF and ITIL. So you can see it's already been pre-assigned to Phil Otten. We can see that we have an impact of medium, an urgency of medium, and we can see the source is, again, configuration manager, and there's a compliance issue. As I look to the compliance error, I can see exactly what the details are. In this case, it looks like the office macro security levels on a server are not set correctly. So it doesn't stop there. I can look at related items now, and hopefully there's some information that will help me quickly resolve it. And yes, there's a knowledge base article. Again, this knowledge base article was attached to this incident template. So when this incident was automatically generated, the appropriate information was there. This will help me to get the right information to resolve the situation quickly. Let's recap. Service Manager, through deep integration, detected the DCM compliance drift, generated an incident. The incident was automatically populated with relevant information and our organization's policies. And now, through Service Manager's deep process integration, we can fully remediate the compliance incident. To ensure the server is brought back into compliance, meaning setting the office macro security level correctly, I need to create a change request. And right here, within Service Manager, I can create that change request. No need to start another tool. And I can look and I see that there is a change template specifically for setting office macro security levels. As I open it, I can see again that we've embedded those best practices. So the correct information is here to make sure I'm doing it, I'm creating the right change request with the right approval steps and the right information. As I look to related items, I can see that the incident is directly linked here. So as an approver, what this means is then I have context for why I'm approving this. And for IT auditors, we can demonstrate that not only do we have a stated process for configuration compliance, but our process is actually in place and being followed. Again, I want to make sure that each time we apply this change request, it's done correctly. So as I look, I can see there's two activities with this. The first is an approval activity, and the second is the manual step of actually changing those macro settings. I can see that this approval has been assigned to Al Young and that he needs to vote on it. I can go back and I can say, okay, now that I've done this, I simply apply it. And now the change request is being followed, is being, is being sent through the system in the queue. To approve this change request, I simply look at my review activities, and I can see that there are a number of review activities I need to approve. I can click on the review activities, and I see that this is the approved security settings, 
and I can approve it right from here. I click on approve, it'll ask me to state a reason or state and make sure that I'm providing any comments appropriate. And now I simply said OK. And now the next activity, which is actually changing those macro settings, will automatically kick off. And so now that the change is approved, it can actually be implemented. We know we've got the appropriate design, to testing, and deployment activities. So Service Manager delivers a powerful platform for integrating your people, process, and technology. Not only does this make it easier to do my job, but it lowers the cost and risk of managing configuration compliance. For more information on Service Manager and Configuration Manager, please visit www.microsoft.com slash system center. And to take a further look at Service Manager Beta 2, visit our www.microsoft.com slash connect site. And you can have a great time looking at Beta 2. Thank you very much.